physics today we are looking at light or optics in physics this is part one of the class we look at the following outline first we look at the definition and introduction of light next we look at the sources of light then we look at rays and beams of light then finally we look at lasers let's begin definition light is a visible form of energy which is radiated outward from a source it comes out from a source all right and covers a distance it has different colors red blue as the case may be light is a type of electromagnetic wave which travels as electrical and magnetic signals through empty space all right the signals are shown as wave, the form of wave motion. Right? Let's look at the diagram. In the diagram, you see the motion in a wave form. The crest is the highest part, the trough is the lowest part. Okay? Now, light waves can travel through a vacuum and can also be reflected and refracted on surfaces. Sources of light. We have two sources, luminous objects, right? These are objects that can produce their own light. Examples are the sun, the stars, fire fleas, glow worms, candles, electric light bulbs, and so on and so forth. We have the non-luminous objects. These are objects that do not produce their own light they are seen when light from other sources falls on them examples we have road surfaces book surfaces wood surfaces and so on rays and beams of light the direction or path along which light travels is called a ray of light the direction or path all right it is represented with a straight line that have arrowhead as shown below. Okay. A beam of light is a collection or combination of ray of light. When we where we have several rays of light, we have a beam of light. Types of beams. There are three main types. We have the parallel beam. We have the convergent beam. And then we have the divergent beam let's look at them briefly in parallel beam light rays travels in a parallel line straight lines they don't meet as shown below you can see the rays of light separately traveling in straight line convergent beams light rays come together towards a point as shown they come together to meet at a point in divergent beam light rays spread out from a source all right it spread out from a particular point outwards let's look at lasers the last part of the class lasers are special man-made beam of light laser light do not converge or diverge they can travel in a very long distance without converging they keep their strength after traveling long distances okay you can see a simple laser light below the word laser is an acronym for l stands for light a stands for amplification by s stands for stimulated e stands for emission and then finally arrow stands for radiation is that okay so you try to know that characteristics of lasers number one they are coherent coherent they travel for long distances unidirectional they travel for one direction 
okay monochromatic they have one wavelength and one color all right and then finally they have high intensity next we look at the uses of lasers they are used in cutting and welding materials but two it is used to measure the distance of the moon okay from the earth number three it is used to burn out cancers can burn them and destroy them number four it is used for laser surgery and skin treatment without cutting the individual or the patient you can do the surgery number five it is used in optical disc drives laser printers and barcode scanners finally let's compare laser light and ordinary light right so that we'll see their differences but one laser lights are very narrow beam of light why ordinary light are widely spread beam of light they can spread over distances lasers they have single wavelength ordinary light have several wavelengths is that okay laser light they produce large heat why ordinary light produce little heat laser lights are coherent uniform they are uniform they travel far and are monochromatic why ordinary lights are not coherent and then finally laser light produces optical music while ordinary light produces optical noise i hope that's okay so go through the video again and enjoy the class thank you very much for being a part of this class